you all are fine uh, today i want to teach you how to ssh uh, between two uh, linux server so here i have already the tech session of my linux server uh, one is my uh, red hat 2 and uh, another one is uh, uh, test one so i want to ssh from my uh, this uh, linux server to um, over this uh, this is let's suppose this is my remote server and this is my local one which i am working and i want to go on my remote server from uh, this server so uh, normally ssh is a secure shell protocol uh, which is uh, working on by default port 22 and uh, uh, and i i also want to teach you about in this uh, uh, how to ssh uh, between two server without password list so you don't have to enter again and again your password uh, whenever you want to ssh from your uh, to from your local remote local server to remote server so uh, first of all uh, we have to check whether ssh uh, services is running or not so you have to check uh, status so after that uh, you have to check uh, on which port your SSS service are listening. So for that you have a command net state minus NP grab uh, your SSHT protocol. So here is my uh, listening port of my local server. That is the 22 one. And another my let's check on my uh, remote location. So we have to know about the first of all the IP of this machine. So let's check the IP of this machine is 21940. Okay, so this is the my IP of my server. And next thing we have to check the SSH protocol is uh, SSS service uh, is running or not. So yes, it's working. So after that, you need a uh, check which port uh, uh, on, in your remote server SSH is listening. So for that same command, uh, we have to use uh, for you know SSHT. So here is the same command. Uh, 22 port, uh, 22 port SSH services running on my remote location. For for SSH, you need only um, need to know only uh, three things need to be checked. One is the SSH service is running on your remote location. Second one, what is the IP of your remote location? Third one is the uh, which port on your remote server is listening so for me uh, uh, so uh, let's uh, uh, move on to the your uh, SSH to SSH from local machine to your remote machine so I need uh, how to SSH so the simple one the SSH uh, command then you have to write the uh, minus p option for the port because i have changed my uh, port from default port to uh, double to double to we have checked on our remote server so uh, need to be root and the ip of your remote location so hit the enter just you here is a message come up for uh, uh, pairing the key or access uh, edsa key fingerprint need to be exchanged between you are so whenever you go for the uh, for this IP so we have to continue it just say yes so now uh, uh, it's permanently adding in my in my known host list okay so uh, you have to enter your remote location password so I am just enter it uh, so successfully login on my remote location from my uh, local server so uh, it says that it's already in known his uh, non host list so where is it so let's check it's uh, uh, let me again tell you about this thing uh, this is the my my uh, home directory of my root user is whenever you see this tilt delta sign so it shows that you are uh, currently working on your home, home directory of this user so uh, you have to go on that cd.ssh and then you see here is the known file come up so whenever you 
create any uh, connection between uh, your uh, uh, your machine to remote machine so here i am currently on my test so from where we have come we we came from red hat 2 so we need to go uh, go with on this a uh, known host file so here you can see the known host file have something uh, encrypted uh, uh, as uh, sha keys in their known ho host file so my my client knows that we have uh, ssh on 21942 on protocol of 22 with this key when we uh, go for the ssh so uh, so on, uh, now oh, why we need the passwordless uh, uh, connection because in, in in industry environment we have lots of servers and we we want to move from very frequently from one server to an, another server and we don't want to go ag uh, again hit uh, uh, again write the password whenever we go on that our particular or desired server so i don't want this thing again and again so how to fix it so it's very simple uh, you have to just uh, uh go ssh keygen it's a, a command in red uh, in linux system so just hit enter it will create the private and public key rse key it's another uh, thing uh, so you have to uh, where you have to save the file i will say that you have to save it here so just hit enter it's enter and save so it will create a a, a, a random key for your uh, machine for your public and private key okay so let's see where is the file arts so go in this file and you will see here is the uh, file come up uh, id two files come up uh, this is your public key and this is your private key so i want to uh, copy this file i want to copy this file on my remote location remote server on my here so now there is no uh, file come up here so whenever i hit enter he he will ask me uh, he will prompt me uh, machine will prompt me for the uh, password so let's with uh, let's make it uh, ssh copy there are two option actually uh, here first of all i want to tell you how uh, you have to uh, one option is to go for the ssh copy id and minus p your double to double to port and your remote location ip this is the one way it will automatically copy this file content and paste in the remote location so this is the very simple one so let's go from uh, this one so hit enter so he, he, he is now creating attempting to log in the new key and uh, copy the ssh id and it, it's, uh, if you prompt now it will be install the new key on your 21942 so here we have just only one time need to be give only one time password so i just uh, enter the password of my this machine on my remote login machine because we want to go from local machine to a uh, remote machine over uh, this machine this test one so uh, uh, it's now saying now uh, check your that uh, you want to add it or not so your machine so he is providing us uh, a command to check whether you are going uh, uh, without password or not so let's hit enter so it's successfully uh, entered me on my remote location without any password via only single uh, command so right now you can see i am uh, in my remote location let's check the ip the ip is 21940 uh, now uh, if you want to exit from your remote location so just hit the exit so you you will be uh, log out from your uh, location so uh, this is the uh, 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 scenario to uh, go from local machine to your uh, remote machine without password 
so uh, the another method uh, i have told you about the two method uh, one is the ssh copy copy id method or another one is you have to copy this this key you have to copy this key manually copy this one and go on your remote location where you have to see the an, an authorized keys as well oh, file have been created via my ssh key ssh copy key id this this command is created this file so if uh, you see it, if there is no file or authorized keys on your uh, remote location so just create it manually and paste it uh, same code this same code this same code in your in your remote location authorized keys so let's check let me uh, check here because it will be more clear to you so i am right now in my red hat 2 uh, ssh and create the uh, id rss pub key so this is the pub key so let me let me log in to my remote location so I am now in remote location. So let's see the file of uh, authorized key is the same or not. So here you can see the all the parameters, all the things are same in both end. So there, are, uh, so here is there is a two option. You have to copy the menu, manually copy this file into your remote location, or you have to use the uh, SSH uh, copy key command to uh, copy your idrs.pub content in your uh, remote location so th uh, that's all guys uh, one more thing uh, just uh, for your uh, extra things so how to change uh, ssh port because uh, uh, for uh, by default the ssh port is 22 so if you want to go to change the ssh port so you just go in this directory viitc ssh and sshd config so here you can see the port so by default it's hashed one and written here 22 so i just remove the hash and port change my 2222 so just restart your sshd services or or sometimes it will not be work so reboot your system before rebooting your system you have to disable the sl linux uh, from your command line or you any another thing and then restart your SSS service uh, That's all guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are like it if you have any confusion in this uh, Practical so let me know. Uh, I will try my best to help you guide you in a better way. Thanks. Thanks all guys